Day 183 and Josh got a pumpkin seed. Good job, Josh. Thank you. All right. No reliable guys, tight lines. It's time to teach him how to fish. Yeah. Yes, sir. Come here, buddy. So I already have this one set up. This is to catch perch. Okay. I'm gonna drop the line a little bit and see if I can touch bottom, figure out where it's at. Once I know where bottom's at, it's a lot easier to catch them. Uh huh. It's a little bit further. Where the at? So watch this yellow line. It'll go straight down if it's not touching bottom, but if it touches bottom, it'll go diagonal. See, it's still not a little bit longer and then it'll be touching bottom. But I think it's touching bottom with the weight, see? Yeah. The weight touched bottom right there. Yeah, I see. So, and this weight's kind of big. I should've used a smaller one for this, but it'll still work. So we know that it's about, we'll say this long to be just off the bottom with the worm. Uh -huh. And a lot of times I'll do this. Like today it's been slow, so I'll hold it and I'll just tap. Like this. It makes the worm here. Look at this right here. Come here. It's like it's still alive. Yeah, look, it makes it jig around. Angel. What's up? How do you put in for the okay. raffle for the uh, baitcaster? Yeah. You got to participate in the cleanup from 5 to 7. Okay. What's up? Clean, use, put the bag back in it. Just empty the bag. Did you throw the bag in? You guys should have kept the bag. You gotta put more stuff in the can. You gotta put more stuff in the can. Grab the other bag and put it in the can. But empty it in the dumpster first so that it's cleared out. He can't do it? What? He's gonna ride off the dumpster. No, you can't. Yeah, it is. That's tough. That's tough. Get one, you guys scared them all off, all the swimming you did over here. Yeah, guys, you scared them off. It's all the swimming you did. That little, uh, that fish is cool, huh? The little, little perch. Mm -hmm, that's the smallest perch I've seen. On the tree right there, dude. Yeah, these perch aren't biting right now. It's crazy. They always bite. I think they will too if you mix strawberry with the um, oatmeal. Yep. I guarantee they will, dude. Look at this. He puts strawberry on oatmeal and it's all pink. That french fry and stuff that you made earlier. I was, I was catching on it. Or I was hitting on it. I wasn't catching. I made a ball like that and the. Something took it in one bite, you just a little nibble, took the whole ball off. I missed it. Just try to wait for the Yeah, so what's gonna happen is yeah, what's gonna happen is that yellow line is gonna go um, left or right or away from the dock. Uh-huh. And a lot of times I'll do this and recast it, I guess you call it. Yeah. But it just slides across. They like to I mean, get it when it drops. Yeah, they like to go after it right when it's dropping. So I'll do that a couple times in different areas. That kid was doing that earlier. The weight that I have on there, though, do you see how fast it's moving across? This weight's too much. So what I'm going to do is just take it off. Ooh, ooh. Almost lost a phone to the water. Oh, my God. Here, can you hold that? Yeah. I had a friend that used to go fish and fly fish and everything, but I never learned. See, now it's dropping all soft and slow. Yeah. Now, any movement to the line is going to be movement from a fish. And I'll know when it's touching bottom. I'm going to catch a little carpet. Times. Just gives a moment. 
gonna wait like, I don't know, a minute or two. Oh, you guys were setting on fire? Oh, that's another fishing thing. <laughs> I don't even know. Ugh. I'm trying to figure out where to...